Australia is very lucky. We have a very um, stable system. We have a very established system. In Indonesia, it's um, not just about education, but it's a country where you have 17,000 islands, a country where you have 4,600 university. So that's presented a lot of challenges in terms of standardization, for example. Out of the 4,600 university, only 14 of them considered as cluster one. And if you're looking at the quality of university from the accreditation, for example, then you will see perhaps 80% of the A accredited universities are located in Java Island. And this presents uh, a huge problem because you can see the variations of the quality and the variations of the you know, standard is quite huge. In Indonesia, university is a lot more complex because as a higher education institution, depending on the nature, they could actually be, um, re they could report to, say for example, um, the Ministry of Education now, or the Ministry of Religious Affairs, or the Ministry of a um, certain cabinet or certain ministry. So that is quite fragmented kind of um, higher education reporting system. Well, in Australia, it's pretty clear, and also because we only have 43 university and about probably 150 non-university higher education provider. So the, it is a lot more simpler that they all reporting in terms of their standard to TEXA, but they also report to Ministry of Education. It's not something new that foreigners has been um, providing education in Indonesia. It's been happening for the past 30, 40 years. However, the recent changes has been the fact that Indonesian government try to um, have the regulation or just release the regulation that allowing university to establish, foreign university to establish themselves in Indonesia with a partnership with a local institution. So having foreign university coming to Indonesia will kind of lift the competition to achieve the international uh, recognition of the university in Indonesia. Mm -hmm.